Samadhi Ka. This is Ray. Welcome back to life, uh, to all about life in Thailand. And today I'm going to address something that I've been asked a lot. I get lots of questions about the state of the Thai economy, and I am by far no expert economist. But I've done some research, so I decided to make this video about the current state of the Thai economy the currency exchange rates for the American dollar, and what to expect in the near future. According to economists, the Thai economy has shown a steady recovery since the COVID-19 pandemic hit in 2020. Now, in May 2023, there is a positive trend in key economic indicators such as GDP growth, inflation rates, and employment rates. According to the latest data, Thailand's GDP grew by 4.5% in quarter one of 2023, which is higher than 3.2% growth in the previous year. This growth is mainly driven by the manufacturing and service sectors, which have seen an increase in demand and production. The manufacturing sector has benefited from the global economic recovery and the increase in demand for electronic devices, automobile parts and medical equipment. The service sector, which is the largest contributor to Thailand's GDP, has also shown positive growth. The increase in tourism and domestic spending has led to a boost in the hospitality, retail and transportation industries. The tourist industry was hit hard by the pandemic, but it started to recover as more countries eased their travel restrictions. The government has launched several initiatives to promote domestic tourism, including a tax rebate program for travelers. Inflation rates have remained stable with a slight increase due to higher fuel and food prices. However, the government's price control measures and the central bank's monetary policy have kept inflation under control. Consumers have benefited from the stable inflation rates as the prices of essential goods have not increased significantly. As of today, May the 9th, 2023, one US dollar is equal to 33.87 Thai baht. The strengthening of the Thai baht against the dollar is due to the improved economic conditions in Thailand, as well as the US Federal Reserve's decision to keep interest rates low. The baht strength against the dollar has both positive and negative effects. On one hand, it makes imports cheaper and reduces inflationary pressures. On the other hand, it can make exports less competitive and reduce the, company's, the country's trade surplus. Thailand's trade surplus has been affected by the baht strength, but the government has implemented measures to promote exports, including tax incentives and trade agreements with other countries. Looking ahead, Economists say they expect the Thai economy to continue its upward trend, driven by the growth in the manufacturing and service sectors, as well as the government's investment in infrastructure projects. The government has planned to invest over $50 billion in infrastructure projects, including high-speed rail networks and new airports. These projects will create jobs and stimulate economic growth. The economists say, quote, as for the currency exchange rates, we expect the baht to continue its strength against the dollar, but there could be some volatility in the near future due to global economic uncertainties, such as the US-China trade war and the potential for higher interest rates. Economists are saying investors and traders should keep an eye on these global events and adjust their strategies accordingly. Overall, the Thai economy is in much better condition than it was a few years ago, and the government's effort to, to promote growth and stability have paid off. However, there are still challenges ahead, such as income equality and political instability, which could affect the country's long-term growth suspect, uh, prospects. Well, that concludes this video on the current state of the Thai economy and currency exchange rates. Thank you for watching. I hope you find the information helpful. And if you're planning on moving to Chiang Rai, my lovely wife Jen can help you with visas, vehicle purchase, accommodation, anything you need. And if you want to help me financially, 
buy me a cup of coffee. There's a link in the description to Jen's video and how to buy me a cup of coffee. Okay, so any cup, bye bye, uru.